TFNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. On this ninth day of September, Monday, Tiger Financial News Network market update. Basil Chapman here. Dow 41,585 high on August the 29th. Yes, I did have to use that as a phantom peak, that, that little uh, on the 20th, I believe it was, of August. We had almost a parallel high. And I said, there's a chance we'll have to use it. And lo and behold, I've had to use it. But that's only a sell signal. And so far, the nine period moving average is still very positive. Well, I shouldn't say very positive, but it's positive. The S&P, on the other hand, on Friday, went negative in the nine period moving average. And it's up 51 today. What did I say? Did I tell you what the Dow is doing? It's up 309 at 40,060. The S&P is up 51 at 5460. Very nice uh, move to the upside. But when you see that red candle on Friday, there's quite a bit of work to be done uh, to the move to the upside. I think there's a chance because the way I interpreted the market over the weekend when I was doing a lot of work is that there were sectors that were very weak. For instance, the QQQ was very weak. It didn't even make that uh, rally towards the all-time high. It failed quite a bit under it, and it's arching over. So it's up 5.58 at 4.54, but that's part of the SMHs. The SMHs have been very weak, sitting on the 200-period moving average. The semis at up 4 and a quarter at 222. But look at the IWM. That took a bit of a dive. The tacticals are not as weak but the price was action was very weak on Friday. Having a bit of a rally today, up one at two two oh nine. It's got a lot of work to do to get that nine period moving average uh, back to green. Uh, can it do it? Well, it's the, I think by Wednesday, if the um, IWM small caps are able to get to two twelve to two fourteen, that's going to be a good sign. Uh, not if it goes down below two or five. Let's go to the gold. Gold was up earlier on. Oops, gold is now um, up three at two thousand five twenty eight. As I said, there's nothing wrong with the charts so far. Everything's holding very well. Let's go to bonds quickly. Bonds are down nine thirty seconds, one twenty five and nineteen thirty seconds, up near the high, so that yields are coming down somewhat. Let's go to crude oil. Crude oil weak again, up 12 cents at 67.79. In the lower range, trying to test the 200 pre moving average of 66.19, the continuous contract. I'll be back for the Tiger Technicians.